For the last three years, I've been using this channel to teach you how to build Python data apps with Dash. And now that I've become stronger in the field, I'd like to give you the resources I wish that I had when I first started Dash. Now these resources are going to be divided into separate categories. Whether you like to learn through video, or by reading, or learning through example, or by doing, everything is going to be here and for you to learn in, in order to be able to create apps like these. These kind of apps, I promise you, you'll be able to create in about one week if you follow these resources. Here is the polar bar charts with a drop down. Here you have a core pleth with a hover and um, many different examples if you go to the overview and see all these apps. These are not difficult. Also, if you continue with these resources, you can probably create more sophisticated apps like these within a couple of months. Here we have a sports analysis app. Here we have a civil engineering app, all written in Dash, built in Dash. Here we have a world atlas with different categories and uh, a slider. So these are not very difficult if you follow these resources. Now let's look over the resources. If you're a person that likes to learn through video, I would recommend these videos from my channel um, in this particular order. First intro, and then the callback, and then graphs, and so on and so on. This other video by Arjan Coz is also pretty good for an introduction to Python data apps with Dash. Now if you prefer reading, uh, here are some uh, good documentation that you can read. This is a Plotly graphing library. This has many different um, examples. This page will help you get started with Plotly. And then you can go to the Python section here and see all the different examples of over 100 graphs. And then you have the second link, the API, which is very important to understand what attributes exist in each graph, all the possibilities of each graph. Lastly, you have the Dash documentation, which you can see right here, and the Dash um, core components. This is a Dash core components, actually, where you can read all about the, the, the dropdown, the, the, the graph, the day picker, and many other components that Dash has. Then you have a couple of books. This book was written by me and uh, two more co-author friends of mine, and it's called The Book of Dash. And then we have another book by Elias, which is a pretty good book as well, um, that I added here to the list. Now you might prefer also learning through examples, like seeing apps. So this example index that I showed you is great, because you can click on any app that you want. And you can then see on the right side the code. And on the left side, you can interact with the, with the app. And by comparing both of them, you can understand how the code creates this kind of app. Then you have a nice wealth dashboard by Anne Marie with the source code. And then we have a styling cheat sheet to learn how to style your app. Uh, before you go into this, I recommend watching this video about styling your app with Bootstrap. And, this, th and then using this cheat sheet is great. And then you have the Dash Theme Explorer, which is a little bit more, um, more advanced uh, styling for your Dash app. Then we have Learn by Doing. If you like doing things and, and testing, testing the waters, um, this, is, this is a section for you. You can either uh, go into the Plotly community and work on the different challenges that Plotly has there. Uh, so far, we, the, there was the Summer App Challenge and the Autumn App Challenge. And in a couple of weeks, we will have the holiday app challenge. So that's going to be pretty cool. And then we have um, build and contribute your own Dash app to the example index. So if you go to the example index and you click on uh, contributing guide, you'll see a brief guide on how to contribute apps to this example index. In order to contribute these apps, you will need to do a GitHub pull request. You would go in here and you will do a pull request. To do a pull request, if you're not sure how to do that, you can actually go into this YouTube video that I made that teaches exactly how to do that. And of course, 
community. It's very important that we work together because we are better together. And these are great um, um, forums or groups where you can find questions and answers and, and just connect with people uh, to get the support that you need in order to learn Dash or Plotly and, and build more and more sophisticated uh, Python data apps. So I hope this was helpful. I hope you enjoyed. If you did, don't forget to click the notification uh, button after you actually subscribe. And uh, always remember, we're better together, so help each other out. Good luck with your journey.